For the folks that have been to Yorkshire and have actually been in a chip shop in Yorkshire, you would have heard, cake and chips, love, with scraps on. Yeah, I'll have scraps on. Now, cake and chips is a Yorkshire fish cake, not like a cake. Does it want salt and vinegar on, love? Yeah, I'll have salt and vinegar. Do you want them wrapped or are you eating them now? Oh, I'll have them wrapped. I'm taking them away. Nice and straightforward. You know, you're going to get your fish cake and chips. They're going to be wrapped up. You're going to take them away. True Yorkshire. Cake and chips. This is real cake and chips. Not that cake that you eat with your tea. You can have the cup of tea with this. This is fish cake and chips. Yorkshire made. Let's show you how to do it right now. Okay then, so we need to peel some potatoes. Just get your potatoes peeled up and we need to chip them. Chip your potatoes as big or as small as you like. And then we're going to pre-blanch these. We're going to get these in the fryer. 140 degrees, we're going to bob them in there and we are going to blanch these chips. Now you only blanch the chips between four and six minutes only. No longer than that, we're just trying to pre-cook them a little bit through before we finally fry them at 180 degrees. So you just give them a shake around in your basket and that's going to loosen them up, they don't stick together. We've got a little bit of colour on, not much. You take them out of the fryer and get on with the rest of your chips. So just pre-blanch, take out. That's nice and straightforward. Okay, then we want to mix up a bit of a batter. Now the batter can't be any easier, it's straightforward. All-purpose flour and water. Now we just want to be mixing some water in there to make it a nice single cream consistency. So you just keep adding water until you get that consistency. Now we do want to be going in here with baking soda, not baking powder. So go in with some baking soda and keep stirring it round until you get that single cream co consistency. That is it. There's no sparkling water, no beer, no nothing. This is real chip shop batter. So don't be fooled. Stir it round and as you can see, that is a very nice thin batter like single cream. Now just shove it to one side and we need to get on with our potatoes. So our potatoes we've peeled already and we want to be cutting these in two. One centimetre thick slices at the most. If it comes in below one centimetre, that is perfect. So do not go over one centimetre as it won't cook. So you need some big potatoes for this. And we want a, a couple of slices. So you can see they're only about not even a centimetre thick. They can't be any thicker as they won't cook. Right, this is the secret ingredient that everybody doesn't know about. It is ground rice. It is called rice cones. It's ground rice, it's not rice flour. It's just rice that's been ground up. Now, what you do with this, you stick your potato in and cover it in the rice cones on one side. And we'll just stick the tatey on the side. Do that with all your pieces of potato. Now the rice cones is there to absorb moisture. And then all we do is we put our fish bits on the inside. It goes on top of that rice cones, on top of that potato. And it's always made up with fish bits. This is how they get rid of the fish bits in a chip shop. Now you could use a chunk of fish if you wanted to, but it's not done that way. And then all you do then, you take another slice of potato, turn it over so the rice cone 
is on the inside and that absorbs the moisture from the fish. Okay, we'll just do another one really quickly. Again, look, rice cones, fish on top. Turn over another bit of potato. So the rice cones on the inside, that's absorbing the moisture of the fish, which just helps it all to cook. And then we need to take our sandwich type fish cake and we need to run it round in the rice cones. So all the way around the edges and then over the top and the bottom. Cover your fish cake to be in rice cones. This is going to absorb the moisture and it's going to help the batter stick to this. And don't forget, we've only got a thin batter. We haven't got a thick batter. So just rub it around, get the rice cones on. That's absorbing the moisture. Nice and easy. That's simple. Okay, our batter then. In with some vinegar. Now, there's no beer, there's no fizzy water. This vinegar is reacting with the baking soda. It's making carbon dioxide, which is giving the bubbles inside our batter. Now, it's not going to taste the vinegar, but it's giving that aeration. And then we've still got a light batter, which is very aerated. Then we stick our fish cake in. Now, a tip is that if you're doing this with your hand like this, you trap the batter between your finger and thumb. Trap it in there. As you can see, look, where I hadn't done before, it would have left no batter. And then you just drop it in your fryer. And that's it. Now the fryer's at 180, so we're going to fry these fish cakes at 180. And as you can see, they're like balloons actually. You know, the carbon dioxide mixed with the batter puffs them up and lifts them to the top. You've got to weigh them down. You know, you weigh them down, turn them over, weigh them down a little bit more until they're cooked. Now you can test these by sticking a knife in. If a knife goes in and it goes in easily through the potato on the inside, they're done. Once they're done, you've got to get them out to rest. You want some of that oil draining off there? They look absolutely superb. Look at that. That is fish cake made. In with as many as you've got, just cook them off, take them out, put them on the side, let them drain. Now if you had a heat rack, like they do in a fish shop, you put them in the heat rack and they'd stay warm. They'd stay warm as they actually drain off the fat, the oil. And then what we need to do, we need to scoop these bits out of here. These are called scraps. And you can have scraps, you can have scraps on your chips. They're absolutely delicious with salt and vinegar. So get your scraps out, put them to one side. Our chips then, to finish them off, we need to bob them back in here at 180. Give them a bit of a fry in. Now they're only gonna take about three minutes tops and the chips will be done. Give them a shake around so they don't stick. Watch yourself, you don't get burnt. They're looking fabulous. Take them out, let them drain, and then take them out and put the rest of your chips in until you've got your, enough chips to go with your fish cake. It's as simple as that. Just look at that. Oh, cake and chips, Yorkshire style. There you go, that's what a cake is. Let's get in here. Oh, there you go. 
cooked fish wedged between two pieces of potato and batter. What does it taste like? I know what it tastes like. <coughs> that is incredible. That is absolutely sensational. Oh. Mm. That is delicious. Oh, covered in, covered in salt and vinegar and <laughs> grease. Oh. oh, that that is a huge reminder of what we used to grow up on. Fish cakes and chips. A few scraps on there. The scraps are the batter. We've got the scraps on there. That is fantastic. That is real Yorkshire fish cakes made. If you like what we're doing, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe. Share with your friends, all that kind of stuff. Catch you in the next video.